Well, it was a story that I made up for my own children. I, you know, I make up various stories for my kids and the Snow Angel as a character was one that just really uh, appealed to them. So I ended up making more stories around him. And then one day I wrote it down, I was on a book tour and I sent them a letter every day and I was sending them more, um, sort of more chapters of the story. And then when I got back, my youngest child said to me, I really want to know what the Snow Angel looks like. Can you draw a picture? And unfortunately I could not because I'm really terrible at drawing. So luckily Walker Books paired me up with Daniela and she, she did a much better job than I ever could have done. Well, it was, I loved it actually. The whole process of collaboration was fascinating, you know, because I, I've written um, several full-length books for grown-ups, but obviously that's just you and your laptop for two or three years. And, you know, collaborating with someone else was such a joy. And my whole lockdown actually was um, brightened by these, uh, emails that I would get and they'd be these beautiful watercolour pictures appearing in my inbox so no, it was just fun. It was very interesting though as well actually in a kind of creative sense because I realised that for the first time I had to carve out spaces in the narrative where Daniela could take the reins of the story um, so there were places where I had to hand the baton of telling the story to her because there are things that are present in the stories that aren't there necessarily in the words so I really loved the idea that there was this um, sort of handing over of, of the story between the two of us. Well, it's a story um, which is about but two things. It's about reassurance and it's about resilience. You know, I think children uh, need stories about challenging themes. They need stories. We, I think we all do, actually, children and adults alike. We need stories about people who encounter difficulties in their life but overcome them. You know, because I think that stories like that give us a blueprint for how to react. You know, they teach us things and they stay with us. Um, well, I can write pretty much anywhere. I've trained myself, you know, I've been, I've been a parent for 17 years now and I think that does give you quite a good uh, tools to just concentrate whenever you need to and write wherever you can. But actually these days I like to write right here. This is my writing studio out in the garden um, and it's very light and it's quite quiet unless I have lots of visitors which happens sometimes. So, But actually it's something that can happen anywhere. I think you can't be too precious about where and when. You just have to grab those moments and make the most of them. Well, it probably would have been last winter. I'm lucky that I live in Scotland, so we do get a fair amount of snow. Um, and there was a little bit last, last year, and so I, I did do one. I, I love snow. I fell in love with snow at a very young age. When I was young, we had um, a blizzard several winters in a row. And snow is the most magical thing when you're a child. It is that place where magic and science meet. And, you know, it transforms everything. Your garden looks completely different. The street has disappeared. The, the cars have vanished, you know, everything is different. And it's also gloriously disruptive because usually it means that there's no school that day. <laughs>